A restaurant where customers pay to get slapped in the face actually exists and I'm gonna go there. Since it's in Japan, land of some of the most unique cafes on planet Earth, I'm gonna check them all out while I'm there. This cafe is called Muscle Girls, AKA Slap City. Now I normally don't do commentary on videos, but the Tyler you're looking at in this video actually didn't know how to explain what was going on. Well, I'll have to do it now. I mean, imagine walking into a restaurant and the first glimpse you get is this. So let me break this down for you. As soon as you sit down, you are peer pressured by these very muscular women to exercise. Only once you work out, you're allowed to order off the menu, which was my first mistake. There was one word randomly in English, grapefruit. Take off my shirt. Grapefruit doesn't go in the drink. It goes all over you. I then decided to ask the waitress, what do you recommend on the menu? That was mistake number two. You pay them and they beat the shit out of you. And they also made me take off my shirt again. I didn't see them do that to anyone else in the restaurant. I think that was just me. Oh no. Oh, that was way harder than I was expecting. I played it off, but they were really hard slaps. And for some godforsaken reason, Jason, my cameraman, wanted to do this as well. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh! I'm regretting to get a little bit more. This was my third mistake. If any of the footage for the rest of this video looks a bit off, it's because my cameraman is probably concussed. After every cafe, I'm gonna rate them from bad to good. That's it. I don't wanna overcomplicate the rating system. Muscle Girls confused me, beat me, and made my best friend cry. And for that reason, I'm gonna say good. I, I liked it. I don't know how the f we're gonna finish this video, I'm gonna be honest. The next cafe, we'd be partaking in Ninja Train with the real weapons. I don't know who thought of this idea. How is this legal? It's a bit I'm gonna be a ninja. Hey, been very excited. Oh, Everything seems like it was going fine. They trained us on shuriken. Ah! Ooh. Nice! Oh, Blow darts. Here it is. If you can success, you, you can be a greatest ninja. The greatest okay. ninja. Oh, the greatest ninja. I'm the greatest ninja. It's only been five minutes. Gave me some apple juice and then katana training. I know these look short and cute, but they're made of real steel and they're sharp. Hey. Oh, Sam almost hit me. No. We're a ninja now. Master. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now there were a couple of red flags about this place. First one was that my accredited sensei was wearing tattoo sleeves. Bruh. I'm not talking about like, it was like a long sleeve t-shirt you get from Party City. A bit weird. A bigger red flag though, there was a there was a baby, like a borderline infant doing the same training as me. And that's when I realized that this place actually may not be for adults. Pretty sure it's like a kid's birthday place. It was fun. They were real weapons. So the rating, good especially if you're a baby. But the next one was definitely not for babies. All right, this is gonna be the start of a segment I like to call the Strange Animal Cafes. This is a capybara cafe, which includes drinks, capybaras, and good vibes. Most of you believe these things are super cute. Oh my God. You're wrong, dead wrong. They're horrifying. I still have nightmares about these things. It's like they crossbred a gerbil, a pig, and a warlock. They have razor sharp teeth they hide behind that cute little mustache. These fuckers run up on your ass. Holy fucking sh <laughs> They're like a hundred pounds of pure muscle. They bark, they run at you. You're not safe around a capybara. It's something that I certainly think could fuck you up. Rating. Unless you like capybaras, then it's probably good. This is an otter cafe, which is super cute to see these little river cat warlocks running around in circles, screeching. Oh yes, you're a cute otter. Oh, you're a good otter. I'm not gonna lie, between hearing these animals scream for their lives and watching a recent movie, I didn't feel good recording this place. But all you need to know is they had hedgehogs, chinchillas, and bunnies. A hey, bunny, he was kind of vibing in the corner. Rating, bad. The next animal cafe was an owl cafe, which is actually pretty crazy. He's dangerous? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that was big. Oh. This cafe gives you the opportunity to hold these truly majestic creatures. They're strong claws, they're beautiful wide eyes. Whoa, dude. <laughs> homeboy, homeboy just liquid shit. <laughs> Name? Afuro. Afuro? Afuro. 
Afro. 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 This is Afro. My boy. Boy, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I want to put him back. Go ahead and pat him. Oh, he's just a picture. I'm scared of him. <laughs> These eagle hawk warlock hybrids. They were crazy. I still also kind of felt bad for them. I don't know what it is with the animal stuff. They just make me feel bad. I'm gonna give the rating bad again. Not because the experience was bad, but because I feel like the experience for the animals was really bad. I feel like for me to give a good rating, everyone has to have fun. I don't think capybara, otter, or the owls had a very good time, so... All these cafes so far were super different from what I'm used to, but this next one was just kind of beyond my understanding. I'm talking about the famous Japanese maid cafes. Like, have you ever been greeted as master by a stranger? Thank you, friend. License of your majesty. I like that, that's cool. And one of these. Oh, exactly, yeah. Oh. Boom, that is so cool. Oh, okay, no video, no video. Okay, I would never do that. I can see why some people like this place, but it's really not for me. So for that reason, rating, bad. Good though if you're into that. Man, I feel like my rating system's flawed. <laughs> I've been traveling around Japan to find my favorite meals this entire video, but you don't actually have to do that. That's right. I mean, Factor. Factor takes the guesswork out of grocery shopping and meal prep, saving you time and energy to do more of your favorite things. Mine personally being making videos for you guys. Listen to meals are good. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat within two minutes. That was kind of nice. Which is perfect for busy lifestyles like mine. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan, and vegetarian options. It's pretty much great for everyone. It's including fish, meat, and plant-based options. Their prices are really great without this insane promo code I'm about to give you, but obviously they're a lot better with. All you have to do is head to factor75.com or click the link in my description and use my code TylerBlanchard50 for 50% off your first box. That's right. I'm saying 50% off saving you guys money on stuff you're going to do anyway, which is eat food. Might as well make it nutritious and super convenient. Need I say anything else? Now, the Vampire Cafe was also pretty convenient food. You're essentially transported into a vampire's lair or something. Oh! The homeboy scared me real bad. I froze up. Dracula got my ass. He walked us over to our booth. This cafe came with a six-course meal themed around death. Kind of quirky. Oh, that, that looks like blood. I'm pretty sure they just put ketchup on the sound. I like how it says death on it. Brings the vibes. <laughs> Whoa, holy, holy. That's crazy. Yeah, like what do I do now? I think man just poured gasoline on my chicken. Rating? Good. The next cafe is a real hole in the wall. Literally. It's, it's a hole in the wall. There's nothing else. You basically walk down the sidewalk and the building opens up into this just green hole with a smaller green hole in the wall. No staff. And then out of nowhere, a big meaty warlock claw spawns. <laughs> I'm starting to realize I don't really know what a warlock is. I'll Google it after the video. Oh my God. Hi. Um, <laughs> I, oh, hi. Wow. It's such a pleasure. Wow. Hey, Tyler. Stop holding the bear's hand. He wants your receipt. I can't get over the fact that that was my first instinct. Yo, oh, you need, oh, the tickets. Oh, the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, a oh, whoa. Yeah. We got a whole box? Yeah. Is that it? Oh. oh. A little bag for us? Thank you so much. Is that everything? I don't know. Uh, that's, per that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. Oh, oh, there it goes. All right, well, let's get the absolute f out of here. Oh, they gave us a bunch of donuts? Oh, it's excellent. Rating good. I feel like we had a couple good cafes in a row, and sadly, that'd be coming to a screeching halt. I'm gonna call this next cafe the military cafe. Uh, hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? All right, we're in a military cafe now. Basically, you can pay for a military woman to talk to you. See, I, I would be interested in that, but I have my girlfriend here. No, not that I wouldn't be, in, like, I would be interested in, like, I wouldn't be interested in it at all. They really did not want me to film there. In fact, only a couple minutes into the experience, they, they, they did this. That has to be the most unique experience of my life. In case you didn't catch that, they, they kicked me out. It was really weird. But for 10,000 yen, they left me with a little, a little treat. Yeah, that's right. Three Polaroids of my waitress. They took the photo of themselves and charged me for it. Rating bad. 
This was our final cafe, a cafe where you are required to fish for your own food. Kind of a cool concept. The way this place works is there's basically a giant aquarium that you fish out of, and there's all sorts of different fish in there, ranging in price. And that's where the catch comes in. This is basically gambling. They kind of set you up for failure here. They have a strict, if you hook it, you have to buy it policy. So if you catch the fish, you're paying for it. They don't want you to catch a cheap fish or they wouldn't put it in the same tank as the flounder fish. The flounder was at the surface of begging me to pay 5,000 yen to put him out of his misery. Yo, bro, I think I totally f***ed up. I got a flounder, man. Come on, bro, I want you to break free. That's not in the budget. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, he blessed you. Thank God, bro. I was fishing for an embarrassing hour in this rigged tank. Oh, yes! Yeah! Victory! Yes! 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 Yeah. No! Oh! No! <laughs> there was a hole in the net. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. I got played. <laughs> Yes! yes Victory! Yes. yes, this one's for real! Please! That's a big one right there. <laughs> I scored! You wanna be in my picture? Oh, okay. Yes. This guy may never know it, but I'm gonna cherish this photo for the rest of my life. They're gonna bring out our boy. They said they're gonna take good care of him. Yo, bro, this is kinda of f***ed. This boy was set up, dude. <laughs> it's pretty good. It tastes like hard work. <laughs> Fishing cafe? Good. I know I've been roasting a lot of these places and I just want to make it really clear that Japan is such a wonderful country. I'm so grateful I got to travel there. The people are so nice and helpful. And they actually have a working transit system. I'm looking at you, America. Japan rating, great. That's right, I just made a new option.